we little race cars put together. Just ready to go fast. Fixing the starter up and uh, we run in an hour 16 minutes. So we start her up, make sure everything's all good because this is a new motor. We took the E cannon out after it broke that crank in Phoenix and uh, ready to go. All right, we are up here on the line for the first qualifying session. I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, filming and taking care of everything, but uh, it's time to go racing, time to burn some nitro. Let's see how we do. out on both sides, Austin shut him off, goes down to a 702. All right, so this uh, service has been a little bit of a disaster. It started out really good and we've been working on getting our service times down. Um, and we pulled the heads off and a piece of trash from last weekend had gone through the intake and had uh, destroyed two pistons and destroyed the chambers of the heads. So we switched heads, got the head, new heads on and torqued on and I looked over and noticed that the fuel rail was facing the wrong direction on one of the heads. So we had to pull the head back off, um, marbles, switch the fuel rail, Austin and I built the uh, blower and intake together on the bench and marbles is currently working on adjusting valves, but uh, good lord that was a hectic service, now it's calming down a little bit, uh, but yeah what do you think Austin? <laughs> Exactly like that. That's that's pretty much how everybody feels. But one time, Marble said, "Hey, if we have to, uh, if I have to change fuel rails on a head in between sessions, there's no way we're ever making it back up there." Well, proved himself wrong. So good job there, I guess. So Austin is finally doing something that I've been asking him to do for literally a year and a half and replace the throttle cable um, on this funny car. And they're super expensive, so I understand his hesitation in wanting to do it. But uh, uh, part of the problem with it is on the end here, part, this piece likes to pop out and it finally did it to Austin on the line today. And he's like, oh crap, we should probably fix that. So that's the first problem. And then you kind of just look at the thing and it's not very, like these ones, these new ones, are like pretty that, smooth and uh, in uh, line and this one is kinked to you know South Dakota so it's a good thing we're replacing it I am very happy that he's doing it it's about time I've only been asking him for a year and a half now so thanks Austin all right, me and Gravy are back at the hotel, Big Daddy Donald Trump's Trump International. Uh, big thanks to uh, uh, Mark and Christy uh, for helping us out and getting these rooms every time we're here. We're sitting here watching Fast and Furious, and uh, yeah, uh, right now we are sitting 17th. We're on the, uh, we're past the bump. Um, I think 16th is a 411, and we're trying to figure out why it keeps dropping holes again. Um, if it would run down on all eight, we wouldn't have any problems, and we've we've established this. This is like why we had the problems getting to the threes. So we just got to figure it out. Dad rebuilt the blower tonight, and um, we just did a bunch of preparation work because we want to make sure we qualify. Um, on that note, I got a bunch of editing to do, and uh, there's a really nice bathtub in there that I'm fixing to check out. So. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Day two of racing, and I know some of the uh, old fans of Dad who have been following him for a while will be a fan of this, is me and Mr. Brian Butler are doing some body maintenance. Mr. Brian is one of the greatest welders that any of us have ever known, used and to. Uh, used to be at least, and uh, the body is a little bit messed up here in the front tree on the saddles, and so we're doing some maintenance this morning to make sure it's fixed, because I don't want to be going to the finals tomorrow and have a saddle fall out because that would put a damper on the day. So what's the plan of what we've got to do here, Mr. Butler? Well, the biggest thing is we've got some stress fractures here that need to be closed up so we don't lose the uh, structure under the body of these things. The loading applied to these things at 300 miles an hour is just a tremendous load and uh, we're asking a lot of this tubing structure to uh, support the load. 
and it just has to it just has to work you know it, it, there's no way around yeah um, band-aiding this stuff you can't can't duct tape it you can't glue it can't zip tie it yeah. no uh -oh. zip ties yeah that, that's, that's unfortunate well, me and Tyler are taking uh, Mr. Brian Butler's school of welding. There's not enough gas coverage. Now, like here, you got that rainbow color. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. That's as hot as you would want it to get. Yeah, yeah that's what it should look like. I call it the rainbow color. Yeah. That is not bad. That's your target. But it's, it's extremely difficult to get enough gas coverage on titanium because it's so affected by uh, oxygen yeah. uh, impingement is, is the word. But, uh, so that's why you need a big cup on it? Big cup. We're really going to have to cover this body then. No, nah, it's not so bad. Not this isn't bad under here. It's a windy day. So Mr. Butler is worried about being able to see it properly, and so we called in some reinforcements from uh, Mr. Tony Schumacher's team. Our stand-in welder did a bang-up job fixing this up for us. It's not really a proper fix, it's kind of just a band-aid until we get home and get through this weekend. But a uh, big, big thank you to uh, him for coming over and helping us get that done. Um, the big car is nearly together. We're putting the blower belt on so that marbles can uh, run the valve lash. And then started in a couple minutes and we run in about two hours. So, uh, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. All right, we're up here on the line. It's time to do some racing. With all due respect, Lucius, I'm about to do some driving. Halfway through the service, Marbles is going to bridge the motor, Dad will pick gaskets, uh, the rack's already in, and I am fixing to go full shoots, uh, service is going well so far. Alright, we're up here on the line, we are the first pair, it is our last chance to qualify, so uh, say a prayer real quick. this past weekend in Vegas, um, obviously not qualifying again was incredibly disappointing. Um, you can imagine how torn up all of us are about it, and um, it sucks, especially not qualifying two weekends in a row. But uh, what I've learned, if I've learned anything in my life or in the past few years of drag racing, it's that uh, what you do when you're at your lowest uh, is what counts. You can win all day, but what you do when you're at your lowest, when you're sucking the most, um, when it's m the most struggle, uh, that's how you that's how you prove who you are and who you're going to be. And this team has so much potential. We are going to get success. We are going to keep running threes. We are going to win a race. Someday we're going to win a championship. And of that, I have no doubt, and there's going to be a couple of roadblocks along the way. A couple of weekends you don't qualify. Some highs, but a lot more lows, but such is life. Um, I'm still incredibly grateful to get up and get to do what I do every day. It is the coolest thing on the planet, and even when we suck, uh, it's still much better than being the greeter at Walmart. So on that note, um, I honestly don't know what our next race is going to be. Um, we're still working that out, um, sponsor commitments and such. But uh, there's a couple exciting things coming in the next few weeks, and I just can't talk about it yet. But uh, there will be videos coming on them. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that youtube -y stuff. And remember, never, never give up.